Are you ready to get the show on the road? You want to get this show started? We're starting a movement, and it's necessary, it's needed. And people have been calling for this for years. This isn't a new demand within the queer world. Just simply existing in this space is difficult. I do it <laughs> because um, I love performing. It's hard to come to a place where I've never felt more at home, more accepted, and then just to be able to get in the doors, I need somebody to hold the door open for me, and then I need to transfer out of my wheelchair. I need somebody to pick up my wheelchair and carry it up the stairs. Then I have to struggle up the stairs myself, get into my wheelchair, and then that's only just one part of the night. Say I need to use the washroom, well then that's a whole ordeal going downstairs. It can be really frustrating um, and dehumanizing. I have um, friends that can't come to my shows. It's just not possible. It becomes an unsafe space when, when accessibility isn't thought of or when disabled people feel like they're not being heard when they are asking for minor things. AQS, Accessible Career Spaces, an organization that is seeking to make more spaces accessible or improve accessibility specifically for queer focused venues in around Calgary and area. The Twisted is exploring options to get a lift up the front steps, so we're working on that. More and more of these performers use accessibility aids to access the space and to perform. We should be able to make this space fully accessible so they can come and be celebrated as queer artists. It takes a lot out of me to come here um, physically and I mean, emotionally too. I'm lucky in a way um, as an ambulatory wheelchair user that I have the ability to stand up and get up on the stage. Sometimes I perform uh, in my wheelchair and sometimes I perform uh, without it. Because when you're on stage, that adrenaline just hits you and you don't feel the pain and it's just kind of, everything's gone. But as soon as the music stops, I feel this wave hit my body and it's everything that I was ignoring for the last five minutes has now all of a sudden hit me. I usually have to like slide myself off the stage because I can't walk off of it and right into my wheelchair or get somebody to help me off. It would be nice if I could just, you know, roll off the stage or have my wheelchair on stage if I needed it and roll off once I was done or something like that, but ramps are sparse in this city right now. <laughs> the financial goal is around 50,000. We'll adjust it as we get the final estimate from the construction companies of exactly how much the lift would cost. Our first goal is to install a list and an accessible washroom and twisted element. And then we're moving on to other venues and seeing what ways that we can make them more accessible in multiple ways, focusing on a lot of the venues that run a lot of queer shows like Dickens, like The Attic, Backlot, all these kind of places to help all venues that queer people frequent. It's going to make doing what I love so much better. I'm excited to have, to be able to share my art with my friends that haven't been able to come. The amount of disabled joy that I'm seeing throughout the community right now, and just my friends who are hearing about this and we're all talking about it, and all the disabled people that are like, have this hope now that they can have the life that they've, they've been missing out on. I finally feel heard about an issue that I've been struggling with for a very, very long time. It's about time. <laughs>